Chennai cocktail for sodium channel blockage. This talk is about distal sodium channel blockage for painful cervical and lumbar disc problems. We know that pain is one of the chief complaints that brings a patient to an orthopedic surgeon. A plethora of medical and surgical methods starting from medicines to surgery with massage, branding, acupressure, acupuncture, soothsaying in between which are all used to address pain. Pain is a complex amalgam of physical and mental changes and involves chemicals transmitted along cell membrane barriers and the sensations are carried to our brain. A disc bulge in an MRI associated with severe radiculopathy and sciatica is immediately diagnosed as a slip disc and aggressive management strategies are deployed to treat the offending disc. However, the patient seldom approaches us showing us the MRI and asking us to take away the disc. Actually, the patient comes to the doctor to get his treatment for symptoms for the pain and radiculopathy that is bothering. Distal sodium channel block is infiltration of a cocktail of anesthetic drugs around the nerve sheets at its most terminal part way away from the presumed pathology. The depth varies from subcutaneous injections to almost bone deep. Xylocaine or lignocaine is the essential ingredient with one or more adjuvants and all blocks are given distal and rather far away from the actual point of what we presume is the pathology. I first came to know about distal blocks through my close friend Dr. Devakar who first posted in social media about rapid relief from tennis elbow and cervical radicular pains by injecting dilute lignocaine into the first rib space. Way back in 2009, Dr. Satish Chandra Gore had described tarsal tunnel blocks as a diagnostic test for deciding about surgery in PID with sciatic. With hit and trial, I stumbled on a cocktail and protocol for low back aches with sciatica and cervicobrachial neuralgias that seemed not only to work well but also eliminate the need for disc surgeries at least among my patients. Between Dr. Gore, Devakar and myself, we worked out a Chennai protocol and cocktail injection for these issues. The theory says that Sensory nerves carry sensations of touch, pain, temperature, vibration, proprioception and chemical or mechanical irritation in the path of the nerve will be manifested as pain on stretch. Sciatic neurons are pseudo-unipolar axons and the nucleus is at a far away distance from the most terminal part of the cells and the impulses travel both ways. Mechanical or chemical irritants on the way of the nerve scores causes symptoms of sciatica, brachialgia, etc. Sequestrated intervertebral disc and narrow foramina, an osteophyte in the facet joint, degenerative changes in the spine, rheumatoid conditions or even filarial conditions will produce localized pockets of mechanical or chemical irritation along the course of the nerve causing symptoms. Over a period of time, mechanosensitization or chemosensitization occurs and the symptoms persistence worsens. This is an electron microscopic picture of a classic sodium channel. The one on the left is a closed so open sodium channel and one on the right is a closed sodium channel. These channels are large transmembrane proteins which are able to switch between different states to enable selective permeability for sodium ions. It is just like a mesh. 
with voltage gating, the mesh can be either closed or open, allowing or stopping sodium ions to cross through these channels, thereby either producing painful sensations or not producing them in the brain. Understanding of pain pathways and their mechanisms is the only way to treat pain. Sodium channel blockers like lignocaine are known to cause a dramatic and temporary relief from sciatic pain almost instantly. Plain lignocaine gives a few hours of relief, while the cocktail developed by me gives significantly longer relief. The relief of pain is by no means permanent and the special concoction gives a dramatic relief for a week or more and this breaks the pain anxiety cycle of the patient giving him a profound psychological boost. The break in the pain anxiety cycle gives both the surgeon and the patient <coughs> time to try adjuvant modalities like physical therapy, exercises, yoga and weight loss programs, all of which eventually lead to a pain-free patient. We thus have avoided dramatic back surgery which often produces inconsistent short-term and questionable long-term results. With trial and error, the following formula has been found to produce optimum effect of lasting more than two weeks and sometimes even three months or more. The cocktail is 1% xylocarb, 30 mg clonidine, 1 ml or 40 mg of depomedrol diluted in 4 ml of distilled water producing a 0.5 ml xylocaine. <coughs> Total solution of 7.5 ml distributed through various target areas. With 39 surgeons participating, we conducted a multi-center international trial with 632 patients <coughs> and found that a majority of them had pain relief for at least 6 weeks and half of them had pain relief for more than 6 weeks. The gates have been named alphanumerically. Gate L1 is 2 cm in front of the lateral anterior and inferior border of the lateral malleolus which is called the gore portal. Gate L2 is just behind the lateral malleolus. Gate L3 is just behind the medial malleolus in the tarsal tunnel. Gate L4 is just below the head of the fibula and L5 is posteriorly into the calf 4 cm below the knee joint. A1 is in the first web space, A2 is in the carpal tunnel, A3 is infiltration around median nerve and A4 is infiltration around the ulnar nerve. These are the upper limb portals. This is a short video which will show the effect of a sodium channel block. This has been sent to me by my friend from South America, an elderly 70 year old lady, severe radiculopathy, MRI proved multiple bulges, L3, 4, 5, S1, impossible for her to walk unassisted, difficulty in climbing stairs. This is a real time video recorded in my friend's clinic and you can see how much trouble the poor lady has in even walking a few steps to the examination couch or to face the doctor, her face is anguished and she is in misery. A combination of Chennai cocktail was administered around the ankle in gates A1, 2 and A3 and you can see the situation of the patient after a 15 minute wait. There she is, able to get down, unassisted and hesitantly she takes a few steps, just gets it on and gradually gains her confidence and you can see in a very short while the dramatic relief of pain that she has. However, one must emphasize that this should be followed by aggressive physiotherapy and rehabilitation to ensure that the patient has a long term 
painful relief. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. <coughs>